Outdoors. I am in the Pamlico Sound of North Carolina, which the Pamlico Sound, for those of you that are not aware, is the largest lagoon in the eastern uh, coast of the United States. Wow, I felt like I almost got a hit right on the first cast. Wish me luck, I'll catch up with you uh, if I start to see a little action. All right, all right, I've hooked onto something here. I'll try to get them around to the side of the boat. It is a speckled trout. Exactly what I was hoping to catch, my first ever speckled trout. I've got some rubber gloves and so I'm gonna use them. I don't know about little spikes and spines, but you can see there he's got teeth. Here we go. There he goes. Nice, first one in the in the books. That's awesome. That's a good feeling. I know that I've got the right bait on. Oh, they're slimy. They left some stuff on that glove. <laughs> um, I know that I'm using the right bait, and that's good. So. I'll stick here at this location for a little while longer, um, but yeah, I've got to be bringing in a little bit bigger trout than that if I'm hoping to keep them. Excited. Wow, very next cast. Very next cast. I'm guessing another speckled trout. Yeah, it's another one. This one, uh, well, about 10 inches. So yeah, a little longer on this one. That was easier to unhook. There he goes. Look at these fish jumping all around me. Oh, there he is. Oh, I lost him, lost him. It's just flipping gorgeous out here. I was not expecting this weather at all. All right, let's keep going. This uh, little land mass right there that kind of comes to this uh, little point there. That's where I'm headed um, on the map. It says that's called Ragged Point. Um, and I think a little ways on the other side of that point is a little swimming area for a campground. So I don't know that I'll want to get into that swimming area at all. I don't know that anybody's out there today or not. It's the middle of the week, but it doesn't matter. I'm not really interested in going probably much further than Ragged Point. So I'm going to keep straight and and it looks like there's I see a little white sand and there's some trees and maybe I can do some live bait fishing from the shore um, grab a little bite to eat stuff like that so I think I'm that's my plan anyway so just keeping you in the loop headed for for ragged point So on the live rod I've got on the bottom a little two ounce weight um, and a high-low rig set up with some dropper uh, loop knots. I have uh, two concerns with this. Number one, getting hung up. Yeah, I mean that's a good distance out there, but I'm a little worried getting hung up on rocks and uh, logs and limbs, and also the crabs. I've seen quite a few, so I think they're probably going to eat some of that bait off. But if we hear it ring, we'll know something's on there. I can't tell if there's anything on there or not. All I know is that bell was ringing.
cow, I've got two fish. Hilo rig. Wow. Calm down. A little bit of overcast skies, which is nice, giving me a little break. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. This feels like a good size one. He's pulling me. He's pulling the canoe. He is legit pulling the canoe. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. He's huge. He's huge. I'm like losing my mind for getting how to fish here. Oh my God, look at it. He's trying to get me wrapped around that rock. Wait, is that a, that's not a, that's not a trout, that's a drum. That is a giant drum, oh my God. Oh my God, look at this drum. Oh my God, hold on. I gotta get, I don't wanna pull him up, he's, he's got, He's gonna, I'm gonna lose him. I'm gonna lose him. I gotta get my glove on, I don't have a net. Oh my God. Oh my God. What in the world? Holy crap. He inhaled that thing. Oh my God, I've gotta measure this. And his nose actually is uh, a fourth over. It's 18 and a fourth. This is a keeper. They have to be 18 inches minimum to 27. Wow, what a beautiful animal. Oh my gosh. And he inhaled that thing. All right, I'm gonna put him out of his misery. Wow, everybody. <laughs> that just happened. 18 and a half inches. I was actually not right on the zero. I was at the end of the tape, but I was not at the zero. This is 18 and a half inches long. Red drum. He's dispatched. Um, you may see him kick a little bit. That's just his nervous system. So here's the deal, guys. I'm exhausted. I've been out here all day. I feel like a fish. I've got them covered in salt and sand and I'm caked in layers of sunscreen right now. Um, I've got sunscreen running into my eyes. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water in a bucket and I'm going to take this fish home and I'm going to clean it at home and prep it and then I'm going to eat it. Uh, I think I'm going to eat it for lunch tomorrow. I'm just exhausted. I would pull over here, try to find some patch of grass. I did bring the stuff to do it. I'm just, I'm just beat. And honestly, I'm not hungry because I'm so hot and sweaty and disgusting. Um, I feel like to do it justice, I need to take it home and do it right. So, the next time you'll see me, we'll maybe be in my backyard. We're gonna fry this guy up. Big day fishing. Been awesome to be out here. I'm headed to the truck. Let's get out of here and take this thing on home. I'll see you back at my house. All right, what's up everybody? It's the next day. It's been a wet one today, but I was able to come out and clean the fish. Got a couple of pretty decent fillets off of the fish, and uh, I ended up just taking those fillets and cutting them up into little nuggets. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to season uh, the nuggets with some adobo, uh, which is like salt, uh, garlic, citric acid, lemon flavor, black pepper, oregano, turmeric, so a whole bunch of stuff that 
would be good on just about anything. This is mustard and mayo with a little bit of water. I know that sounds crazy, but I've battered chicken and fish and both mustard uh, before and mayonnaise before, and um, I couldn't decide which I was going to do. I just decided to do both mayo and mustard. And now I have this house autry fish fry, and I'm going to pour that into a separate plate. I've got this pot in there. That's probably way more than enough. And I'm just going to take these out and give them a little roll around. Here come some red drum nuggets. Probably have to do them in a couple of batches. This pan's not huge. Maybe one more piece. Just so I can show you all what it's looking like inside. Nice, white, flaky. So everything's cooked through. Let's try a bite. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's real good. And there's my plate. Let's try some. Risotto. Creamy. Mm -hmm. Has some mushrooms in it. Try a little bit together. Here's a bite that I dropped on the ground, half of it. <laughs> Oh, it's good together. All right, I'm going to sit here and finish my dinner. Thank you for joining me. Subscribe for more content just like this. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Another one. So good.